Hi guys, on behalf of Neutronics, I would like to welcome you all to our Raspberry Pi 3 unboxing video. This is the first video amongst a series of videos where we will go in depth on the brand new Raspberry Pi 3. We also provide our viewers video guides on how to make the most of this device with tutorials and setup videos. But for now, please enjoy the unboxing video and stay tuned. So after days and days of waiting, I finally was able to get a hold of the Raspberry Pi 3. I initially ordered it from online from Pimeroni, Pimeroni. I'm going to go with Pimeroni.com and after one week it still hasn't arrived yet. But thankfully to our local micro center was fully in stock there. So me and a friend went to go pick it up real quick. One for him and one for me and the Neutronics viewers aka you guys. So without further ado let's go in and check this bad boy out. And by bad boy I don't mean what's inside this paper right here but what's inside the box actually aka the user manual. Fully featured with Chinese gibberish as well as a safety compliance guide. Guys, I'm just messing with you. We don't need this right here. Let's put that to the side and let's see what's inside the box. Nothing. Eh, let's toss that. So let's get to the main part of the video right here, the Raspberry Pi 3. And guys, I'm very, very excited to work with this thing. I've worked with the Raspberry Pi 2 a lot and I have had tons of projects on it. And I really want to get started and show you guys the cool projects we can do with the Raspberry Pi 3. The device features a quad-core ARM Cortex A53 1.2 GHz processor as well as 1 GB DDR2 RAM. And damn, does this look good right here. And although it looks very slimmer to the Raspberry Pi 2, I think it does have some cleaner edges and it features four USB 2.0 ports, an Ethernet jack. And if we look to the side right here, it has a 3.5mm audio jack, the HDMI out, and the micro USB port where we could hook up our power supply. The device features a couple more serial interfaces, but I mainly want to talk about the camera serial interface, which is not that one, but the one below that. Mainly because I personally have used the RPi camera module before for the Raspberry Pi 2 and I can't wait to use it for the Raspberry Pi 3. I just want to reiterate, we have so much projects and tutorials in mind for you guys. We want to make sure you guys know how to work with this thing for either your projects or DIY stuff for your home. Um, the Raspberry Pi 3 is a very powerful, powerful device in such a small, small package. And we want to definitely show you guys the opportunities and possibilities we could have with this thing. This is only the beginning, guys, so please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, stay tuned.